The analog rate limiter works similarly to the analog ramp, except instead of changing the output with up, down, and mute inputs, the output is changed with an analog input. To get an analog rate limiter into your program, click the logic folder under the program view, type in the speed key, ARL, and hit enter. Alternatively, you can expand the analog operations folder under logic symbols, and then click and drag an analog rate limiter over to the detail view. The analog rate limiter has one analog input, one analog output, and one parameter specifying the ramp time. The input tells the rate limiter what value the output will change to, and the ramp time tells the symbol the fraction of time it'll take for the output to change from its current value to the value specified in the input. In other words, the rate defines the maximum amount of time it will take for the output to change, which is the time it'll take for the output to ramp from 0% to 100% or 0 decimal to 65 535 decimal. Let's build a quick example program. We're going to use an analog initialize, an analog increment, a toggle, and one extra analog rate limiter. We're going to give three parameters to the analog initialize, and its inputs will be driven by our X panel. The output of the initialize will feed the first rate limiter, and it will also feed an analog input on the X panel. The first analog rate limiter will have a ramp time of 4 seconds, and its output will also go to our X panel. Now the analog increment will go from 0% to 100% in increments of 10%. Its up and down inputs will be driven by the X panel. The toggle is going to be used as a mute input for the analog increment, and the output of the increment will be fed into the second rate limiter and one of the analog inputs on the X panel. The second rate limiter will be given a ramp time of 6 seconds, and its output will also be displayed on the X panel. Okay, that should do it. Let's compile and upload to our processor. When I select different inputs of the analog initialize, notice how nicely the output of the analog rate limiter changes. And just like with the analog ramp, the time the ramping process takes is proportional to the difference between the current output value and the target output value. Note that the ramping is still smooth even if the inputs are changed rapidly. Switching over to the analog increment, we see similar results, just at a slower pace because of the second rate limiter's larger ramp time. The rate limiter is excellent for displaying analog feedback from a device that only uses a small range of values. If no rate limiter is placed between the device's output and the touch panel, the feedback can look jerky, which can be alarming to users. Large, abrupt changes to lighting levels, shade position, or volume can cause undesirable results. In these situations, a rate limiter ensures that a nice gradual change occurs in your lighting level or your volume level or your shade position. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see something else in our videos, leave us a comment below or on our Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr or Instagram pages. Maybe MySpace. We might have a MySpace.